When you look at a plastic bottle, have you ever noticed the symbols or numbers at the bottom? These symbols and numbers actually tell us a lot about the type of plastic used. For example, a plastic bottle labeled 1 for PET is designed for single use and can warp under high heat. Meanwhile, a container labeled 5 for polypropylene can withstand more heat, like in microwave-safe products. But what if we need plastics that go even further to handle extreme heat in places like car engines, medical devices, or industrial machinery? So in today's video, you'll learn some of the top types of heat-resistant plastics. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a heat-resistant plastic? When we talk about heat-resistant plastics, we mean materials that can handle continuous use at temperatures over 150 degrees Celsius, or about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, without breaking down. Some of these plastics can even tolerate brief exposure to temperatures as high as 250 degrees Celsius, or 480 degrees Fahrenheit. Beyond just resisting heat, these plastics are also impressively tough, and in some cases can offer strength similar to metals. This combination of durability and heat tolerance makes them ideal for challenging environments. Heat-resistant thermoplastics fall into two main types based on how they respond to heat. They can be amorphous or semi-crystalline. Amorphous plastics have a disordered molecular structure. As a result, they gradually soften as the temperature rises without a clear melting point. Examples include polycarbonate and PVC. In contrast, semi-crystalline plastics have a more structured molecular layout. Thus, they have a sharp, defined melting point. This makes them ideal for products like fibers and films, with common examples including PET and PTFE. Now let's look at the top six heat-resistant plastics and what each brings to the table. First on our list is PTFE, often known as Teflon. Known for its incredible heat and chemical resistance, PTFE has a melting point of 327 degrees Celsius and can operate between 9 to 200 degrees Celsius and 260 degrees Celsius. Its low friction makes it perfect for nonstick cookware, protective pipe coatings, and electrical insulation. But PTFE does come with drawbacks. It's sensitive to wear, creep, and can release toxic fumes under certain conditions. It's also relatively pricey to manufacture. Still, its unique properties keep it in high demand for critical, high temperature applications. Next, we have PBI, or polybenzamidazole. It is the top choice when extreme heat resistance is required. This material has no melting point, doesn't burn, and can handle continuous temperatures up to 398 degrees Celsius, or up to 537 degrees Celsius for short periods. This unmatched heat stability makes it ideal for firefighter suits, astronaut gear, and race car driver apparel. However, PBI is challenging to machine, making it one of the most expensive thermoplastics. Its high-notch sensitivity means that any sharp edges must be carefully avoided during design. Third on our list is PEI, or Ultim. This is a versatile plastic with high dielectric strength and a melting point of 219 degrees Celsius. It is widely used in the aerospace industry for aircraft parts, circuit boards, and food sterilization equipment because of its durability against fuels and coolants. On the downside, Ultem is costly and prone to cracking when exposed to certain solvents, so it's not compatible with desktop printing. Peak, or polyether ether ketone, is another high-performance plastic with a melting point of around 343 degrees Celsius. It is a powerhouse when it comes to strength and adaptability, often replacing metal in many applications. It has high tensile and flexural strength and can handle short-term temperatures up to 310 degrees Celsius, making it ideal for medical devices, transmission parts, and aircraft exteriors. It is easy to machine, which is a plus, but keep in mind that it's susceptible to UV and some acids. Overall, PEAK is a go-to for engineers working with extreme environments. We also have or polyamide imide. This high-performance thermoplastic can withstand temperatures up to 270 degrees Celsius continuously while maintaining exceptional strength and resistance to radiation and corrosion. PAI is commonly used in aerospace clip nuts and as a metal substitute in high-temperature automotive areas. Its mechanical properties rival many metals, but it's one of the costliest materials in this category. Finally, there's PPS, or polyphenylene sulfide. It is a semi-crystalline thermoplastic with a balanced mix of thermal and mechanical properties. It's naturally flame-resistant and offers solid chemical resistance, which makes it a reliable option for medium-duty applications. You'll find PPS used in products like frying pan handles, centrifugal pump components, and rod guides. While it doesn't have the highest dielectric strength, it's an affordable choice for applications where high performance isn't critical, but heat resistance is still needed. So, those are six of the most popular heat-resistant plastics, 
and their uses in industries that demand durability under extreme conditions. As you can see, each plastic has its own strengths, limitations, and ideal applications. If you want to learn more about advanced materials and manufacturing techniques, don't forget to subscribe and join us for future videos.